All right, man. Here we go. We back, man. Practice about to kick off. That's X. I'm D. Caneville Show. Right off the bat, man. Y'all let us know in the comment section below. Let us know. Let us know in the comment section below. One player that Miami can't go without, not named King. In the comment section below, y'all let us know one player right now Miami can't do without, not named King. X, give me one player. The Hurricanes can't do without, not named De'Aaron. Say the day, King. Uh, Lewis Hadley, the partner. Lewis Hadley. The we the can't partner. do without a. Lewis Hadley. <laughs> and it's a name, right? <laughs> the partner, yeah. Helly, 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 the punter, yeah. Huh? Why you say the punter? I mean, field position. You know, when the offense ain't going, he he flips the whole field to the other side. So now the defense has a better chance to um, back him up, stop him, instead of us punting 20 yards and they are already at the 40 yard line. <laughs> so, I mean, as far as the returnings, um, yeah, I'll say Put the, the punter. punter. X say the punter. Y'all let us know in the comment section below. Um, I'm going to say the light-skinned Wolverine, Bubba Bubba, man. Bubba? Yeah, man, we can't lose them 300 tackles he had last year, bro. I mean, we, we can, I can we, agree, but... There's a void in the defense we cannot stand. You got some got some, some other killers coming back, back there, so I wouldn't say that's... Who the killers? Big game, James coming in. Um, okay, well, I mean... Got a Varte. He's back, ready. Right. I mean, a bunch of unproven dudes. Uh, yeah. But they, 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 they coming. We, 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 um, they coming. But yeah, I say Bubba Bolden. I say Bubba Bolden. One, one player we can't do without. Um, should be the leader of the defense this year, should he, guys? Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's basically the leader last year. Yeah. yeah. All right. So listen. So check it out. X got a stat. Well, here we go with these numbers. What's the stat, X? Um, UM is 91% return in production. That's third in the nation, first in the ACC. Third in the nation, first in the ACC, 91% return in production. So, so you saying body, they're talking about body for body. Body for body, who, who, who produced for Miami coming back, vice who left? Because we know who left. Yeah. Brevin, Brevin, Roche, and, Roche and, and Phillips left. Phillips and the kicker. Can't, I can't leave the kick out. They, they got to think about leaving the kick out the other day. <laughs> yeah. And they and they, and they, they, they gone. So and we still top we number three in the nation. Three in the nation, number one in the ACC. Number one in the ACC. So you saying what to that? I ask you this question. I say, is this is it pressure on Manny to win now? It seems like now he, he's he, he's almost like he's forced to win now because of that 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 number, and you can see all the moves he's making. Like is, what? It, is it pressure from the school? Um, you know, the board of trustees, the alumni is this pressure because yeah. this is like the, the most depth returning Miami have seen in a long time. But I don't even know I don't even think we ever had that much depth like that before. Do you think the number do you think the number is skewed get in on this T. You think the number is skewed because a bunch of teams are returning seniors? So, uh, so I mean, but still, that's it, 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 you, you can't say it's just screwed because a bunch of teams return to seniors. We knew, we known that last year was an empty year, uh -huh. so seniors could come back. Right. So basically, a lot of teams are returning to seniors. Uh, yeah, but a lot of teams have returned to production. For you to have ninety one percent, I right. mean, that's third in the nation. That's a lot. You talk about almost one hundred thirty some schools. Okay. So, I, so, so do I think Manny? Do I think Manny is on the hot seat? Basically, I think. I think I don't know. I, I don't know about it. the hot seat. Is, 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 is it's a tough situation because you're looking at it like Manny contract situation. Do you don't want to pay the buyout yeah. to fire him? Um, it seems like they don't care about paying buyouts. So they don't care. Wait, is if, third if they year? Don't, yeah. If they don't care, then yeah, he's on the hot seat. What was his record the first year? Six and seven. Last year. Eight and three. Eight and three last year. Felt like three and eight and then losing. Yeah. Losing North Carolina like that, yeah. Them last two losses made it eight and three. Yeah. Um, I think okay, so I think Manny being a young coach, right? I think he being I, third, third. This is third year being a head coach. Yeah, he's so still I, learning on the job. So I think he being the first time head coach, I think some things have happened that shouldn't have happened that put kind of chinks in his armor. You know what I'm saying? Losing the FIU, losing to North Carolina twice. Um. Has he won a bowl game yet? Haven't won a bowl game. Um, he won in 38 
off of bye weeks. Off of bye I think weeks. all I think all these things if they consistently like keep happening, yeah, it puts you in a position where people start looking at your job. I think so. Um, has he made some moves? He's been making moves. He's made. He's made. He's, in the offseason, he's made all the right moves to to, to get the team better. Uh-huh. So that's why that's why I'm saying it, it, it has to be pressure because it's like okay we we, we giving you everything you asked for right you, you got the team the depth everything yeah. you've asked for is here it's like okay well now man what are you gonna do it's, it's, there's no more time to talk no more time to be a politician right it, it's time to be a coach now you know what what you know what's gonna give him a buffer if King isn't healthy that that's gonna that that's that'll give him a buffer I don't I don't I don't think that's gonna um, well, maybe, maybe I, think I don't so. think that plays a part in it because you have to look at the fact. What if King would have just left? Then you still say, well, okay, well, Manny, if you don't win this year, we'll give you another year. No, no, it's an excuse is an excuse. So if he's still here, it's an excuse. If he's not here, it's not an excuse. <laughs> an excuse is an excuse. You know what I'm saying? So. No, King doesn't coach. He come back. Um, yeah. 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 There's no excuse. So if King, so so you're saying if 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 King gone, we would have Nikosi. Yes. Eight year quarterback. Thank you. <laughs> <Matt Moore. laughs> um. No, so so I think I, I I think yeah I think I think I think at this point they're looking at his job. Um, I, I do. I think at this point that they're, they're looking at his job, and I think he knows it. I think he knows the pressure is on. That's why I say I think I think he he's dedicating this whole season to saying we got to win. That's why he said I'm gonna come back and start calling the defense because now it's on me. Right. If my job is on the line, I'm gonna lose it because of me, not because of y'all. That's how I look at it. That's why he say okay, well I'm gonna call the defense because we not finna get 600 points put on us. Not well I'm calling the defense. You know what I'm saying? So it sounds good. I, yeah, but I mean that's <laughs> that, I mean. It, you you're not gonna let like like when you say when you was working CEO you're not gonna let them lose your, lose your job for you, right? If he's doing something wrong, hey, hold on, you know what I'm saying? Stop it. So it's like he's saying I'm gonna take control of it the situation and if it's on me, it's on me. That's how I look at it. So yeah, it's pressure. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I think the defense always been him, but but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, I, th- I think I, I think they're looking at his job at this point. Um, so what else we got going on, man? Listen, position battles. <clears throat> Manny talked the other day about how much depth they have and um, how much. I, I think because college football, these rosters are full, bro. Like they 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 load it up. Like how many players we got on the roster? You know, NCAA done, really done, done gave us more spots yet. Nah, or not? they didn't. They didn't. They didn't get the most spots yet. But um, mostly everybody supposed to have 85 scholarship players. Then you're allowed to have as many walk-ons as you want. Right. Um. So granted that since some seniors came back, so I guess you could say the number goes up to maybe 90 or 95, something right, like that. Right, right. And he talked about basically like nobody should feel safe. Like nobody should feel safe. Um, it's going it's to be a lot of uh, assessing going on. Um, the number one position battle has to be what? Wide receiver, right? Has to be wide receiver. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I would say that in like, wide receiver and linebacker. Um, wide receiver, wide receiver and linebacker. With wide receiver, you, you pretty much know one, maybe two players. You know, want to start, uh, who's going to play, and that's Harley and Rambo. Um, and then I guess the third spot is up in the grabs, up, up for grabs. Um, you got Pope. Uh, Keyshawn, uh, is it Keyshawn? No, Keyshawn Smith. Uh-huh. Um, Wiggins, Restrepo, uh, Michael Redden. Um, he called their names the other day. Payton. He called their names the ones who, <laughs> what is it, Keyshawn Smith? He said, Keyshawn Smith, Restrepo, Redden, Redden. Restrepo, yeah. Yeah, Restrepo was they, the first they, name, Redden. But they, I mean, we, we went through this last year. Remember last year they called the freshmen. Like, boy, the freshmen was looking good out there. Right. Then season start, there's only three receivers playing. So it's like, Right. Um, so, like I say, as now you only you know Harley and Rambo's gonna play. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't. I know Rambo ain't transferred over here to sit the bit. So, yeah, he plays. And that's why I say linebacker is the one position we don't know. But who's battling? Like who's this? Man, what is this? Linebacker. Yeah. You got, uh, <laughs> you, got you got Flag. Flag Jennings. You got Jennings. You got um, Brooks. You got Huff. You got uh, 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 what's the one from New York? Um, Tyree, Tyree, Tyree Cave, Austin Cave. 
um, Flag seemed to be the one that showed the most promise, right? Flag, yeah. and then um, so maybe then maybe Brooks, maybe Brooks. Um, I, and and, and the, uh, the, the the kid who just came in from um, Orlando, Troutman. Troutman, which I think might be like natural middle linebacker. How big is Troutman? Troutman about six six foot and a half. Yeah, he, Troutman don't look that big when he on the field. But he come in, he hit you. He crazy now. <laughs> you know, he, 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 he he crazy now. Hit you. But he so so the battle between let's say Flag is the one standing out right now. Flag, yeah. Flag I mean, he, he stood out at the end of the season last year, so he, he has the upper hand because he's the only one that looks natural, like he knows what he's doing. Right. Um, right. Diaz and Swank with, uh, with Huff and um, with, with Austin Cave, like, man, they have all the natural talent. That every, everything they do, they fast, but they got to know what they doing on the field. They can't just be out there. He, he went out his way to say yeah, that. Um, he did. He went out his way to say So him. I guess we know that we know the problem with that now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I, I, you know, I keep vouching for Huff, and I'm like, man, I think he's the best one, but I guess he's saying. So, say so, wait, so, so, so there was particularly, he was particularly talking about talking about Huff when he said that, right? Huff, Huff and he was like, you can run fast. Yeah. yeah, you can run fast. You can, but you got to know what direction you're running in. And yeah, you can't just be out there just – Going to this hole in the play over there, and you got to know formations. And um, I don't know if, if the defense is that 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 much that hard to learn. I mean, um, yeah, I think a learning problem is a is a learning problem. I, I think I don't, yeah, I don't know about what's hard to use, easy to me. It's like Williams, what he talked about here the other day. That Bain was able to learn the, the offense, but he it took him two years. I think yeah. If you have a learning, <laughs> you have a learning problem, you just have a learning problem. Uh, for somebody to be that big and look that that big and that that athletic and can't get on the field at all. I mean, like some, yeah, <laughs> some can't be yeah. right though. Some, yeah, some can't be right, but like I said, uh, it, um, we had, we've had that problem last year at linebacker. Period. It wasn't just him. It was all of them. Looked like they was out of position at times. Going to the different hole and taking bad angles. So give me your your, your three two. It's two linebackers. Huh? It ain't just. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> give me as of now it's, it's it's looking like it's gonna be Corey Flag and um, Sam Brooks. Didn't Jennings start a couple times last year? Yeah, and it, <laughs> it, it, they look good. Huh? They look good. <laughs> yeah, and he, and he he has it because he he some games he come in and he, he he's plugged the holes, but then some is like. What are you doing out there? You right. know what I'm saying? So we can't have them, them, them. We can't have that no more. Okay, so give me your three star wide receivers. Mike Hartley, uh, Rambo. Um, and I'm gonna just go with Pope. Hartley, Rambo, and Pope. Who in the slot? Hartley? Uh, probably. I mean, I think Pope should be in the slot. I think Pope should be in the slot, and Hartley should be on the outside. Harley Dad said he, he he wanted him to put him on the outside. I think Harley should be on the outside. Pope, Pope is a slot receiver. Um, I don't want to see Pope running down the field trying to catch jump balls no more. Put him in the slot, man. Let him catch the ball and use his speed. Right, right. Any other position battles we think going to be? Um, I guess you could say tight end because uh, Will Mallory is out for, for spring. So then you got the two, the young. Um, you got Larry Hodges. Right. Um, Dominique M um was it Morero and um, the, the young guy from, um, from yeah. Texas? But that, yeah, for the spring, oh, yeah. I guess the spring, that, but that's Mallory's spot. Yeah, Mallory's spot. I mean, yeah, yeah but Lashley, Lashley loves to run the 12 personnel, so that's the battle. Who's the second tight end now? Right. So, yeah, I, I think I think wide receiver, it'll be Pope. I think it'll be Pope, Harley, um, at least for the spring. I think when those young kids get in there, they're going to push somebody. Um, if I think when Brinson and George get there, they're going to push. I think Restrepo is ready to push somebody, too, at this point. And I, I love Restrepo, um, but when that other guy get there, there's going to be some trouble back Who? there. Rashad Smith. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's going to want to get on the field. So. No, they, they, they bring in some talent, man. And... I don't know if the wide receiver they brought in the year before was as talented. I don't, I don't, I don't think they were. Maybe um, they are just talented, but I think remember um, Manny was like, man, they had to get in the weight room because it was so light. 
Not Redding now. I mean, well, Redding was just yeah. yeah Redding he came from IMG. He looked the Redding, part. Yeah, the, he had yeah. the, the broken hand. Oh, okay. so he was out a lot. Yeah, but yeah, he looked the part. Like he's he's a he's a big. I mean, he's at IMG. Everybody right. goes to IMG and look like they're ready for college. So right, right, right. But the other ones, uh, what's the Ro- Rosham? Like man, Rosham looks good out there, but he just too small. So you don't think we got a safety battle? <laughs> I mean, you got you gonna so have. So we're going this, back out with Carter again. That's it, Carter, Bubble, Bubble, Carter, Hall. Yeah. And um, got uh Brian Bottom. Um, probably gonna come in behind them. Who else? Uh, no, eight of them. Bro. You got you got Avante. Um, the striker position might be a battle because everybody going to obviously give it to Gilbert, Gilbert Freestyle, but he been playing with that too. Yeah. Keep, but both of them being playing, right. Kiyacha played a lot more at the end of the season, if you notice. Him. He did. So that's probably going to be uh, interesting. Kiyacha and Gilbert Francis? Yeah. Right. But all right, man, y'all stay locked in with us, man. Make sure y'all like, share. Go to community section for the members. Y'all go to community section. Go get your info. We'll be right back, man. That's X and D. Oh, Oh shit!